Hey, yo. He can't fight news. Anthony Yard. Light heavyweight prospect. This dude's a total beast. He will be on the Deontay Wilder vs. Tyson Fury undercard. And he will be facing this opponent that I will be talking about in just a moment's time. E King Fight News. More on this. Uh, hey yo, alright man, top of the morning. Anthony Yard versus Israel Dufus. This Saturday, a Wilder Fury undercard. Versus who? Unbeaten WBO number one light heavyweight contender Anthony Yard. Will be reportedly facing little known Pan Panamanian from Panama, a journeyman from Panama named Israel Dufus. 19 and 5, 16 knockouts. Man, them dudes from Panama can punch, man. They can fucking punch. Dudes from Panama, you know he can punch. But that, that's all we know about him, man. Dude might have some punching power. But, I mean, hey, it's a push. It's, it's ain't, this, ain't a, this ain't a solid test. It's a showcase fight for Anthony Yard. And we're going to see what he brings to the table. I mean, this is, this is still a guy that's prospect level. Still a guy that's honing in on his craft. So it's a good look for him, you know. On, on a big, high-profile undercard. You know, along with the likes of Luis Ortiz versus Kaufman, yeah, that face-off looked fucking... That face-off with Luis Ortiz and Travis Kaufman was intense. That shit looked intense, man. Um, but not only that, but I got some other news that a very big name returns in December or January. That's right. You heard it. Guillermo Rigondeau penciled in to return in December or January. Return of the Jackal, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondeau. He's coming back. Lay some gloves up, man. You ain't gonna go out like that, man. You can't go out like that. Like you did against Vasil Lomachenko, man. Can't do it. Alright, so, you know, get the band back together. Guillermo Rigondeau penciled in for return December 22nd or January 13th. Guillermo Rigondeau is stepping back into the ring. The two-time Olympic gold medalist signed with Al Heyman last month. And he'll be making his debut under the PBC banner in December or January. It might be on the Jamel Charlo undercard, which is set to take place on Fox. Now Rigondeau looks to be fighting at 126 pounds. Right? 126. Is that the weight he fought Lomachenko at? I think it is. I think it is 126. So it looks like he's going to stay at that weight. You know, Guillermo Rigondeau was also rumored to be fighting in the, uh, the World Boxing Super Series. But eventually, he turned it down because uh, of issues making that weight. You know, he moved all the way up to fight Lomachenko. And he would have had to move all the way back down uh, 8 pounds plus. To fight uh, whoever, man. Them killers at 118, 112. Uh, and he decided he couldn't make the weight. So here he is, 126 with Al Heyman. The PBC. You know, probably should have made this move a lot earlier. Instead of, you know, signing with top rank. <laughs> Shit, top rank didn't do anything for him, man. The only good thing top rank did for him is they got him the Donaire fight. That he was actually promised. Otherwise, man, top rank didn't do jack shit for Guillermo Rigondeau. <laughs> Set him up to fight Vasilo Machenko. 
Guillermo Ringendau eventually agreed to the fight. It didn't work out for him, man. I'll tell you that much. It didn't, didn't work out for him. But hey. Everybody, you know, er everybody gets a second chance in boxing, man. Look at fucking Dave Allen and shit. This dude got 99 chances and shit. <laughs> so Guillermo Rigondeaux, man. I want to see that dude come back, man. I know a lot of y'all are disappointed. You know, he did quit. He, it, You know, like it or not, he did quit in that fight. And it's a shame, man. It's a shame what happened. Mentally, he wasn't there. But it's the fight game, man. It, it takes a toll. It, it really does take a toll. Look at Tyson Fury. He might go all the way back in depression after he gets knocked out by Deontay Wilder. You know, he might relapse. He might be like on some Eminem shit. You know? But you never know, man. You can't fight news. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button. And we're out. Oh no.